Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, I'm making bean dip today and it's so simple. It's the perfect thing to have while you're watching football or at a party. You can make it, it's easy. If you've never made anything else, you can make this. Let me show you how simple it is. Get some heat going in a saucepan and then in the saucepan, I'm going to put a tablespoon of bacon grease. Now, if you don't have bacon grease, you can just use a little oil or a little butter, but the flavor of bacon grease is so wonderful. And then to that, you want to add one 15 ounce, or no, it's a 16 ounce can of refried beans, just the traditional beans. This is the easiest way to do it. And now that the oil is getting hot, you just want to mix the oil and the beans together. All we have to do is really get the beans warm and then it's done. We're going to mix in all the other ingredients, some seasoning. How about a little garlic salt? Now, if you don't like salt that much, just use a little garlic powder and you can taste it later and decide whether you want to add some salt. And then a dash of cumin. Just like that. And then some chili powder. We want to give this some really rich flavor and chili powder is the way to go. So we'll start with about that much. And that's the wonderful thing about homemade. You can custom tune the flavors to your preference. And so we'll give this a mix. We want to keep it stirring because the, the flame is up pretty high. We're about a, a medium heat, so we want to keep things moving along. This doesn't take very long to make. So stirring it up, and now I have some cheese. This is Deli Deluxe Kraft Cheese. It's American cheese. It melts really easy, and it's the best tasting, really, uh, name brand cheese you can buy, unless you want to buy it out of a deli somewhere. But this is uh, the best, really, so I recommend the Deli Deluxe Kraft Cheese. So we'll put that first uh, slice in, give it a stir, keep the beans moving around. We're trying to warm it up. And really all we have to do is get it warm enough to melt the cheese. It's that simple. It's that easy. So we'll put this second slice of cheese in and stir it up. And well, you know, it's the same thing with all four slices. You could add more cheese or less cheese depending upon your taste preference. Or no cheese at all. Once you see the cheese really melting, go ahead and turn the heat off because there'll be enough heat in the pan to finish the process of making this delicious bean dip. So you stir it, just stir it around until you see all the cheese melt and you want to stir it and uh, you know combine the cheese throughout the bean, the bean dip. Now it's bean dip. You see how beautiful that looks? And this could be done if you don't like it spicy, but if you want to add a little heat, I've got this special hot sauce. The bottle is shaped like a hand grenade and it's called the General's Hot Sauce. And this is a cayenne habanero hot sauce. It's very delicious, but it's also expensive. I was given this as a gift. I'll put a link to it if you'd like to try some, but any hot sauce you like would, would do if you want, want it spicy. And uh, so use your favorite hot sauce. In fact, you could put just about anything. You could put some jalapeno in here but I'm keeping it very simple and I want the bean dip to be super smooth. So we'll just go with this simple hot sauce. I hope things are going well in your world. I want to thank you for watching all of my videos and trying these recipes. I hope you like them. I certainly appreciate the comments that you, that you add. Now for the important part, we want to test it by tasting it. Mmm. That's close, and this is where you fine tune it. I'm going to add a little more chili powder, but that's my taste preference. You can fix it the way you like it, of course. And here's where you would add any flavor that you would like to emphasize. So now we'll just stir this in, and that ought to be just about the way I like it. Nice and, and done, and this bean dip is going to be so good. Let me give it one more taste. Oh yeah, that's it. And that's it. I mean, you just put it in a serving bowl with your favorite chips. Look at that. The perfect thickness. Mmm. 
That is so good and so easy to make. I hope you give this a try. I think you'll like it. It certainly will be a hit at the football game you're watching or the party you're going to, whatever it may be. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.